All right, here in the finals, we're on the draw. We've got a great keep here. Get the old 1-2-3 play, which is really nice. The question is, do I want to do Soul Summons or Aspirant first? And I'm afraid I do not know the answer. I guess Aspirant, since it attacks into 3 Toughness. I guess I could have just played a mountain there, but whatever. For the uh, the Lightning Berserker. Had I played a mountain, I would have been able to swing next turn for, or yeah, for a lot more damage, but that's okay. I think we're more likely going to be playing a more for a Soul Summons. Alright, he gets a 3-4 blocker, which is pretty good, but we do have like 7 removal spells that we could draw. Like that one, for example. For example... Draw Bathe and Dragonfire. And I think we'll just we'll jam it here. I don't see why not. Alright. So, either we draw another removal spell, or I still get to attack with a Lightning Berserker. So, I think we're just going to swing with Berserker here. It's a good trade for us regardless. Otherwise, I get in three points of damage and play a Soul Summons. Or maybe two points of damage and play the Sandstorm Charger. That might actually make more sense. This is a trade I'm pretty content with. Basically traded a one drop for a four drop. Not bad. Strong arm monk seems like a reasonable play, but I think what we're going to do is go for the old soul summon sandstorm charger play. Which just puts more bodies out there, basically. I guess we can start with the Soul Summons. Mountain? Well, I didn't want to draw a mountain, so I guess I'm okay with that. Alright. It's acceptable. That would have taken care of our Charger anyway, so better he does it when it's morphed, rather than when I've paid the mana. Okay, Twin Bolt. Not a bad draw, considering I have the Strong Arm Monk. Another Grixis deck. That surprises me. Another Sarkin's Rage, too. All right. Well, we officially have lethal now with the Twin Bolt, so I guess we get the victory here, which is nice. Double Sarkin's Rage. That's certainly something to keep in mind. All right. So we're playing against Grixis. Uh, he had some pretty good defense set up, actually, relatively early with that Stormrider rig. A um, couple Dash dudes. Sarkin's Rage. He seems like he's, just based on the cards I've seen, it looks like he's aggressive. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it seems like he would be aggressive. But, obviously, he was not aggressive this game. I still am not going to discount the fact that he's likely... An aggressive deck. Um, I think we'll keep it the same. 
pacifism, as per usual, still has the same sort of debate whether I want to do pacifism or the uh, tail slash, but I think I'm fine with uh, leaving the pacifism for now till we see some exploit. All right, looks like a keep to me. Not a bad draw, but I mean, I can't play it yet. Um, and it probably makes a better top deck in the mid game, but still, it's a powerful card. All right, what do we got? Reckless Imp being dashed. I can tolerate that. Alright. Let's go ahead and drop a Dragon Fodder here. And pass. So, depending on what he plays... I'm either doing Vault Breaker or Gore Swine. If he's just continuing to dash, I would say that would indicate to me that he's missing his land drop, which makes me rather do the Gore Swine, because then Gore Swine followed up with a dash Vault Breaker is much more intense in the damage department. Um, I mean, yeah, I can, I can. Dash this, discard a planes, get in for six. Um, I'm trying to think of two mana removal spells. There's no debilitating injury anymore. He doesn't have the mana for douse and gloom. Ancestral vengeance is something. I think I'm just going to drop the gore swine. I, for some reason, I just like... I feel like I don't need to use the Vault Breaker's dash right now, and I'm very much winning this race if he's only got the dash plays at the moment. Like, even if he uses a removal spell on Gore Swine, I just get to follow up with Sabretooth Outrider. So I'm applying all the pressure at the moment. I think the big risk is that... Unco oh, he forgot to attack. That The big risk is that... Uh, Um, that three drop, I think I actually dash here. This is kind of funny, but the reason I dash is because I've got Berserker's Onslaught next turn, which is lethal without making me, uh, risk anything from a board wipe. And there's nothing worth discarding. We've just got a grip full of goodies at the moment. So we'll do that. Go back. He's got to do. He's got to do something here. Or he's dead. And even if he draws a land and makes a play, we've got the onslaught. All right. So opponent got mana screwed. We got a victory. Our deck was pretty fantastic. Um, even in the close matches, it, it really pulled through for us. So it turns out when you get a bunch of aggressive creatures and a bunch of cheap removal, uh, you have a pretty powerful deck. And this one came together really nicely and played well for us. So I am happy for about that. And uh, that does mean, since we won this draft, we'll be doing an 8-4 for our next one. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you for the next one.